Rob St. Jean here from Dynasty Martial Arts. I'm here to demonstrate the requirements for red stripe belt. If you are a five to six year old and you're going for red stripe belt, which means you're wearing a white belt, these are the requirements that you need. To start off with your first strike would be stances. So I'm just gonna run through them slowly and give you a little bit of a description on how we want them done. The very first stance is attention stance. So when you go to attention stance, your feet are together, your toes are forward, your hands are at your side, and everything's straight ahead. So this would be attention stance. When we transition to our next stance, what we like, what we usually like to do is we like to always try to step out with the left so that we stay uh, uniform with what we're always doing. So I'm going to step out with my right foot this way, which in the camera looks like my left foot. So as you watch this, you can follow me along. So when I go to step out, I'm going to step out with my left. And as I step out with my left, I go to a meditative horse stance. So a meditative horse stance, the toes are forward and the knees are pushed out. In the meditative horse stance position, it's going to be the left hand over the right. So the left hand over the right. This is called the meditative horse stance. Now sometimes I see this, sometimes I see this. It just needs to be like this. So I'm going to 45 degree angle, the hands are here, and the hand is the left hand over the right. As you can see here, left hand over the right. Okay? The next stance is a training horse stance. So from here, I can transition right into a training horse stance. Nothing changed from the feet. As you can see, the feet have not moved, the toes are still forward, and the knees are pushed out, and I'm in a training horse stance. So the transition was from a meditative horse stance to a training horse stance. And this is our third stance. Our fourth stance is a ready stance. Basically, the two hands push out like this. They're here together, it looks like two downward blocks, but this is called the ready stance. Once again, nothing has changed in the feet or the toes or anything like that. So to recap, meditative horse stance, training horse stance, ready stance. The next stance is called at ease. So at ease, I'm gonna ease up on my stance a little bit. My hands will go behind my back and I'll just stand and remain like this. This is the at ease position. We go back to attention stance. I move my left foot in, hands are here, and I'm looking straight forward. Now, with every stance, the attention stance is the one that I need the kids to yell Kia. So if they're gonna go to a tension stance, they need a nice loud kia. As they bring that left foot in, hands come together and looking straight ahead, and they need to yell kia for me. When they step out to that meditative horse stance, they need to say meditative horse stance and repeat it back. It gives me that acknowledgement. From the meditative horse stance, hands are here. Training horse stance as well. I want the hands to come to here in the training horse stance, and I need, the, I need them to say training horse stance back as well. The ready stance, same thing, ready stance. And then the at ease, the hands come behind the back like that and relax on the stance. At ease stance, relaxed stance is uh, basically it. The uh, next stance is considered a left neutral or a right neutral. So if I say a left neutral, what that's gonna be is my left foot is gonna be forward and my right leg is gonna be back. So this is a left neutral. Left neutral meaning left foot forward and right leg back, okay? If I say jump switch, literally you're gonna switch your feet and be in a right neutral, okay? The right foot is forward and the left foot is back, okay? Right neutral, jump switch, left neutral, okay? To recap, attention stance, meditative horse stance, training horse stance, ready stance, at ease, and attention stance. Now with these kids at this age and at this level, ages five to six year olds, all we require from them right now is what's considered a short salute. So the short salute would be from an attention stance. But we'll start at a meditative horse stance. And we'll put our hands like this. 
in a meditative horse stance. We'll bring the left foot in. Detention stance. We give a nice loud kia. And for the salutation, what we do at the end of class, is we'll bring our hands up and out. And we'll say empty hands. And then we'll drop down to a meditative horse stance. And then we will mold the hands together to a prayer position. And then we'll bring our hands up, out, back to the attention stance. And when we bow, all we do is we bow the head. And back to meditative horse stance. And that would be the short salutation, the short part of the salutation. It's the, the ending of what we do. So one more time, the salutation from a meditative horse stance. And this is how we want the uh, salutation to come from the meditative horse stance. So we're here, left hand over the right, tension stance, and then we go empty hands, treasure the art, prayer, and then back out, and bow the head.